Hello Wargamers, this is War General T bringing his next battle report. And this image goes also Vanguard shows some Vanguarding already. There I got my five reavers, boat thrower, unit Phoenix Guard with a level two mage. That's my left flank, then you can see his right flank up there. And here's my center. I got a boat thrower, the archers, and Dragon Prince is with the Noble, who's the General, the Level 4 Archmage, and the Banner of the World Dragon. And then here's my right flank. I got the unit of Silverhelms with the Noble BSB. And next to them is the Eagle. And that's my right flank. I know this is kind of blurry. Um, not the best lighting, but here we go. This is his right flank. He's got a unit of five wolves. Warriors with a lord as his general. And uh, warriors with an exalted hero, his BSB. And then we go to his center. And here, his, here is his center. This is how he deployed at first with his 12 ogres. Of chaos, pretty much our in you know, line there. And for some of these images, we got this is a mission for an upcoming tournament where we had to select one of our character models from a unit to be a messenger to get him out across the other player's deployment. And if you uh, get your gears moved off before the game ends, you get points. And if you destroy your opponent's messenger, then you get also get points. So, so there's that. That's his there. He chose the wolf. And here we go into a vanguard movement there with the reavers. But then also I'll show you my messenger is the keeper of the flame there from the phoenix guard and then there's the vanguard of my reavers moving up and then we are off to warriors of chaos turn one so for his first turn he reformed his ogres here into a block because i had my two cavalry units so you saw you didn't want to be double charged by those at least right away so you kind of reorganize them to the block there and then his other movements he just moved after first his one warriors charged into my reavers did a stand and shoot I uh, believe it's stand yeah no nothing doing nothing so he gets in and he moves his wolves off from the edge of the table and his other warriors just move up some. That's his movement. And then we, here's the result of combat. Of course, because he in his army here, he had no magic and no shooting. So well, this is a pretty quick game here for him and f kind of going through those two phases because uh, pretty much I'm the only one that has all phases of the game so he decided to go without magic and shooting in this game so it can go into combat here and you can see the result the reavers have been wiped out and they're off the table so we go to the next one and here we are at high elf turn one so you can see uh, I just moved my phoenix guard up a little bit in the woods and the keeper goes out, he go, moves up. Um, then in the right image, the dragon princes, they move up and the silver hums move around the building to get charges on those ogres. And the ego move, flies over behind the archers to do some redirecting if need be. And here we go off to my high elf magic. The first one I 
Roll at four is so crunch here on this first Union Warriors Chaos. I rolled, got two of uh, five dice or something like that, and so two, four dice. Apparently, I got two sixes, so of course that's off. Um, it does about five hits, two wounds, and killing two. So two of the warriors from that unit have died. And then I roll on the miscast chart and get the uh, number ten. Roll the dice for levels, and unfortunately, I lost two levels on that roll. So I lost that spell, and I believe there was one other one because, yeah, it was the, my level two. So he lost all his magic and becomes a normal guy, fighter or elf, whatever you want to call him. And that's uh, that spell. And then my level four attempts the pit of shades here in the ogres, goes off. Roll the dice. Unfortunately, this is hap. This is what happens. Two sixes and the scatter. So off the pit goes off way off to the side there and doesn't do anything. Ah, terrible. Oh well, lucky ogres. And then we go off to some shooting. And we got this kind of shooting. Uh, of course there's no, no combat coming up so this will be my last images of the my turn. Uh, pretty much the archers shoot at the big block of ogres, killing none because they don't get any wounds through. Uh, the first bolt thrower shoots at the those same ogres, getting two wounds on them. So they got two wounds there so far. The other bolt thrower does a single shot at the warriors of chaos in front there, doesn't hit. And that is the end of High Elf turn one. Here we go off to Warriors Chaos turn two. His ogres charge in and get in onto the Dragon Princes. Uh, he was just short of the double roll so he doesn't get that higher strength or whatever. His center Warriors Chaos charge and get into the Bolt Thrower. His other warriors is, are have just reformed from last battle. Then he moves his messenger out of the wolves, and they, the wolves moves towards the f keeper there. And he, the messenger, is behind the warriors. And then, um, of course, there's no magic or shooting for warriors of chaos here because he doesn't have any. So we go off to combat. Here we are at combat. The ogres wiped out half the dragon princes and kill the archmage. So I've lost that those ma that magic now. As warriors guys wipe out the bolt thrower with ease and overrun. And and she dragon oh yeah dragon princes. They attack back, uh, they do five wounds. So that kills like an ogre, uh, two ogres and gets another wound on them. And I believe my bolt thrower shot at the one warrior's chaos but way out of the range. Didn't make, didn't pass the, get the hits for the range. So that's it for Oh no, this is just Warriors cast turn combat, yeah. Nah, so that's it for that. We'll go on to High Elf turn. And now we're off on here till the High Elf turn 2. So I don't get that Im the image of this charge, but my Phoenix Guard attempt to charge at the dogs that are up above it. Just in his, in his direction. Unfortunately, they fail. So that's about it for charges and movement, really, and or movement. You can see here the silver arms. They've come around the building some to get get in a rear charge, hopefully, on those guys, on the ogres. And the bolt thrower just pivots to aim at 
the closest enemy coming at him. So you'll see that in the next image. So here we are off to shooting and combat. Um, my bolt thrower shoots the warrior's cast single shot. Doesn't do anything. The archers shoot at the dogs, killing, wiping them out. Then for combat, kind of over here in the right image, I was able to kill two more, two more wounds or de dead ogres. I don't know how to see in the next image, but at least one dies and hopefully some wounds on the other one. Of course, his ogres attack back and wipe out my unit. You'll see in the next image. Gets my general. So here we are on Warriors of Chaos turn 3. As you can see in the right image there, there's the two wounds that's still on the one guy. And they've wiped out my unit so they reformed to get ready for the Silver Helms. Then the Warriors of Chaos, he doesn't charge with them, he just moves them up a little bit. There you can see my Phoenix Guard where they were supposed to be. What was it? They were doing something. I don't know. I have to. I don't even remember what they were doing. They should be facing that way the whole time, but whatever. <laughs> There's his messenger warrior, his warhound there, moving up towards the table edge. And this is the. Turn him. No, this is my. This will be my turn, but you, can, you see the next images. Or my messenger goes off first. So this is his. Um, there's no magic or shooting for them, of course. For combat. Actually, there's no combat on this one. So we go on the high elf turn. Here we are at the high elf turn three. I charge my silver helms there into the og ogres. Gets in there. Here, oh yeah, there's that image turn three. This is where I rotate the Phoenix Guard then. And the eagle moves over. And let's see what else. Anything out? Um, my, my messenger's off the table now. And we go out shooting the bolt throw shoots at those warriors there with six shots, getting uh, only one wound through, which he then saves. So that does nothing. And then for the combat there on the right, the BSB attacks, causing two wounds. So that's one more dead ogre. And the silver helms, they attack, causing seven seven wounds. The horse is in the front there. One horse does a wound and gets one through. So then his ogres are striking back. They get through four wounds. And unfortunately, I was able to save three of them. And so one dies. I he I won combat with my ranks and my banners and he has to roll like uh I won by ten here I see. I think his leadership was like uh what was it nine? So pretty much snake eyes wherever he doesn't get it. So he runs, I pursue and he run flees seven inches and I pursue seven inches right on the dot. So he's wiped I just wiped out the ogres with my silver helms. Too bad the dragon princess couldn't have done that. So we'll go on to turn four. Here's the after image of my overrun of his ogres, wiping them out. And we are here at Warriors of Chaos turn 4. So with this, uh, he charges his warriors into the boat thrower. His other warriors is restrained from pursuing the into the or charging the Phoenix Guard and just move normally. Then this is where his messenger, you can see he's gone because this is when he goes off. 
So both of our messengers off, and we both get those points. And then no sh magic or shooting from him. We go into combat. And here's the result of combat. Of course, he wipes out the bolt thrower. Goes into the archers. And that's about it for combat. We'll go on to my, my turn. Here we are at high elf turn four. I just moved my Phoenix guard up to that point, I believe. All my Phoenix guards charge into the warriors that were by the archers get in. The Silver Helms just swept through the form from where they were further back to the right in the picture before they moved up there in the next turn. And oh no, they did a swift reform, they passed it, then they moved up there. That's what it was, yeah. That's why they're up there. That's about it for movement. Then of course combat he wipes out uh those archers. Does combat reform. And then uh, Oh wait, yeah, before we get to that, um my Phoenix guard there had attached his warriors. Of course, he was his tax back killed uh, let's see, about four of them. Something of no, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, about three, four of them. So they failed their leadership. And they had to flee. They went, went through the silver realms. They passed their test. And then, of course, the overrun. Of his warriors, result in him getting into contact with my silver helms, and so that's why it kind of goes into Warriors of Chaos turn five here, because with his without his magic phase and shooting phase, it just kind of starts blending it through together. Of course, by this point, I lost my magic phase because I had no war um arc mages or mages or any goals, guys. And my bolt thrower and archers were wiped out for shooting. So we ended up there. And we go off to turn 5. Here we are at high elf turn 5. His other warriors of chaos that's off the pitcher. He just restrains them. Marches them up around closer off pitcher. And his warriors there in the pitcher. It's his... BSP, I believe it was issued challenged. I declined. So we, then we go. This is kind of the result of combat. Hopefully, I'm on the right image here. So as a result of combat here, his silver his warriors killed off the unit of silver helms. They are trying to. He got like what's here. This warrior's got through 11 wounds and I've saved two of them. Yeah, nine and worth of ward save. So, of course, eight of them died, wiping out that unit pretty much. And him pursuing, of course, my BSB there. This is more of my, my turn five because my BSB rallied. But then the Phoenix Guard kept fleeing. They fled through the house out there. And that was it for that one. And then, of course, on my turn, as you saw in that past image, the my BSB rallied. My Phoenix Guard was still fleeing. My Ego was still flying around. And then for this mission... At the end of turn five, uh, you after turn five is complete, the player that went second, which was me, rolls a d6 on a one to two. Knight has fallen, and the game is over. Otherwise, we continue on to turn six. Once six is done, we do the same thing, and then it ends on one to four. If that if it still doesn't roll that, then it goes on to seven. But unfortunately. Yeah, I rolled and I got a two. 
So the game is over. Night has fallen. My Phoenix Guard has survived till the ne till next time. My BSB and my Eagle too. So after adding up all the points and whatnot, we got it. Victors are the Warriors of Chaos with 1,900 points. And high elves, we got 900. So with the tourney points ranking and the points difference came out to high elves 5, Warriors of Chaos 15. Lucky Warriors. Kind of new experience learning this game. And hopefully it's a little different once the tournament comes. So... Stay tuned and prepared for those. I should be doing some of those battle reports too and have them up for you to see. So hopefully you enjoy it and till next time.